Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's tutorial is yet another hair tutorial. I know that is two hair tutorials in one week, which is crazy for the girl who hates doing her hair. <laughs> Anyways, today I'm showing you how to get these waves in your hair using the, let me get it, the Numi Curling Wand. Um, this I believe is the 25 millimeter wand want to hold me to that. I will link what it is down in the description box. And if you want some money off of the new me products, I will put a link down in the description box for you guys. So this is kind of like a two in one kind of YouTube shandango because I just filmed a tutorial for this look, for this makeup look I should say. So that tutorial will be coming on Monday. Let's go with Monday. I believe it is May. May 18th. May 18th, you guys can expect this makeup tutorial. It is using all drugstore products, so stay tuned for that. And let's just jump right into this tutorial, shall we? So I haven't washed my hair in like two days, and when I did, I did blow dry it and straighten it because I wanted to show you um, this look with already like straight hair. I'm going to run the Numi Argan Oil through my hair just a very little bit. You can put it in. Um, your hair, if it's damp, if it's dry, whatever, I like use, I don't know if you can see that, tiny amount. I'm just gonna brush it through with my finger. It smells really, really good. Um, it just gives your hair like a nice softness and shine. A lot of you guys have been asking what hair color I used um, for my hair. I did do it myself. I do have an amazing hair girl, Miriam, at Model Citizen in Phoenix, but I I am so spontaneous, guys, that I literally just, I was like, I haven't done red in so long, and so I just did it. Anyways, I used the Ion Light Intense Red Color with a 20 developer, and this is what happened. I'm going to start with the wand, which is heating up down here. It does come with a glove uh, that looks like this to keep your um, fingers and hands protected, but I'm pretty good without it. Oh, and by the way, I don't have extensions in. Um, this is all my hair. I can't even believe it. It has been growing. I've had lipstick on my teeth for like the majority of this video, so that's cute. just curl a piece away from your face. You don't have to hold it there very long. You hold it for like maybe seven seconds. And like, it gives you a, did I do it away from my face or towards my face? Sometimes I just don't know. So you can do your curls all different ways. You can do them all facing the same direction. You can do them facing all like different directions. It's all up to you. When they're facing like the same direction, it's more like of a smooth finish look. I think of like old Hollywood. When you're doing kind of more like messy waves or like beachy waves, you can do them every which way. You know, give kind of more of a natural look. So this thing curls like crazy. You don't have to hold it in that long. And what I like about it is that you're holding the ends, so you're not gonna get that that ringlet look. I don't know about you guys. Like, see how I'm holding the end right there? So it's not gonna be like super curly. But anyways, I don't know about you guys. I get super freaked out. <laughs> super freaked out by ringlets. I think they are like terrifying. We don't need to be doing ringlets. It's just, it's not cute. Um, by the way, obviously I'm just grabbing random pieces and curling them. This is usually how I do it. I know a lot of people will do like uh, by section by section by section, but I'm not a hair person as you guys know, so I kind of just grab and go. It's just easier for me that way and uh, it's just a quicker I don't know, it just feels like a quicker process. Cause I honestly just don't like doing my hair. When I do do my hair, the, the style usually lasts 
for a while. Like I can go forever without washing my hair. And I know that's gross to some, but it's good to brush that oil through your hair. It's healthy for it. And if you dye your hair, it's obviously gonna preserve the color longer and red, since I decided to go with red, the color that fades the fastest, I am definitely not washing my hair a lot with it. I think I've literally washed it maybe once. Definitely one time, maybe two times since I've dyed it. Um, just because I want the color to stay as vibrant as possible. I don't want it to fade super fast. And if I do a hairstyle and I can keep it going for like four days, then there's really no point in washing it. So yeah, now I'm just grabbing pieces from underneath. I'm sure you can see that and I'm just wrapping them whatever way is easiest for me. Um, if you are not experienced with a curling wand, I would definitely wear the glove because, um, what is this piece doing? See guys, I'm not a hair expert. I just kind of do whatever. But anyways, I would definitely wear a glove because these things get super hot and if you're not used to wrapping it around a wand or, you know, whatever, then you could hurt your fingers and I don't want that to happen. And the reason I am staring at the viewfinder is because that is my mirror, so I do apologize if I'm not looking straight at the camera. So any scragglies, I just kind of grab. They're pretty easy to find in my hair, like straight hairs that I missed. And then I'll just curl them under. So I have my waves here. I'm just gonna spray it with some hairspray first. Just like a cheap hairspray, guys. Yeah. Like I mentioned in my uh, last hair tutorial for the Messy Bun, it's just got to be voluptuous volume hairspray. It's really all it is. And then um, once the hairspray is in, I just take a brush and I'll brush it through the waves. Like this, just so they're more like smooth and not so uh, not so like defined. Brush your fingers through, whatever you wanna do, you can do it. If you notice, the ends are not crazy curly or anything, they're barely waved. And that's just how I like it. Um, I don't like curls that like go like this, as I mentioned, ringlets. It just makes your hair look shorter and it just looks like it's too well done. So I do leave the ends a little more straight. I'm going to work on the other half of my head and then I'll be back with you guys when I'm done with that. All right guys, so I just finished the other side of my hair, obviously, and this is the finished look. The curls have gone down a little bit because I have brushed them through quite a few times like I showed you, but that's just the look that I like to go for. If you want your curls like super defined and crazy curly, just don't brush out your hair. The new me one will get you those curls that you want. Just leave them the way they are and you'll have those curls for quite a while. And that's what happens when you don't film an outro. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye.